What's up guys, it's Royal FIFA Game here and welcome to the fifth episode of my Blackpool FIFA 16 career mode. And we start this episode with some training. Alex Gilby and Curtis Nelson both going up to 65 rating and I must admit, I'm really happy with the growth early on <laughs> in this career mode. Players, very young players, quickly getting higher overalls in their ratings and I must admit the new feature training is playing a massive part of that and it's really helping the growth of my team but the first um, game of this episode is away to Colchester and the first chance falls in the 10th minute to Emerson Boyd great hit and Cullen on the rebound and it's 1-0 to Blackpool early on in this game against Colchester but no Cullen is offside good shot from Emerson Boyce, it could save from the keeper, and it was a fantastic hit from Emerson Boyce, but luckily, uh, unluckily, Cullen was in the offside position, and when he put it into the open net, the linesman put his flag up, and it stays nil-nil. In the 36th minute, Colchester win a corner, good ball into the box, and what the heck was that defending, and the goalkeeping for one. Alex Winter was just completely unmarked it. It was just he just got into his position here, no one tracked with him. And what is Doyle doing there? It seems like he just came out of his he just came out of his six yard area six yard area, tried to get the ball and then just halfway through thought, No, I don't want to do this but Cullen in the forty ninth minute tries to put us one all in this second half. We are trying to push for this equaliser, but Colchester have a free kick in the 64th minute. Whip it into the box, it's headed away from us. But Colchester win the ball back. Sordor into Lapsy. Lapsy back into Sordor on a great shot from Sordor narrowly over the bar. And we're very lucky to still only be 1 0 down in this game as Colchester have had quite a lot of chances. But we give the ball away again. Colchester coming forward. Lapsy into Edwards. Edwards trying to break through our defence. Lapsy is completely unmarked by anyone. And this is some of the most awful defending I've had in FIFA. I mean, it said a couple of games ago that we were the best offensive team in the league. I'm not sure how we're defending like this. Lapsy just easily runs through the middle and we give away a silly penalty. Sordor steps up to take it. Can Doyle be a hero? No. Despite Doyle trying to put him off with his dance moves, Sordor goes the other Sordor goes the other way and I was panicking in this moment, so I put on the young kid a say Samuel. But Sordor puts it in the right right bottom corner and seventy three minutes gone. It's Colchester two, Blackpool nil. Very disappointing uh, result for us in this game. We tried to break through, but Colchester were very good defensively and also quite good attackingly. And as you can see, we've got an all-out attack here. And Colchester break. Can they get the third to really, truly bury it? And Gavin Massey with a huge chance to really bury the game for Colchester there. Really should have put Colchester 3-0 into the lead, but we're lucky that it stays 2-0 in this match now pushing on to the last chance of the match Curtis Nelson plays it through to Emerson Boyce can he find anyone yes he plays it back to Curtis Nelson but that will be the end of the game truly disappointing loss to Colchester United after the last episode's really heroic performances away really disappointing loss and a loss that we that we didn't really deserve to be honest. We didn't deserve to lose 2 0 in that match. We did have a lot of chances, we just wasn't clinical enough and Colchester clearly were. As you can see, more training in this career mode. And I got a manager I got a manager offer at SP Rapid SP Rapid William, which I thought I'd put that in because I never usually get manager offers um this early into a career mode and I thought that was quite funny but obviously we rejected as I don't even know what country SP Rapid we and playing. Anyway, coming into the second match of the episode, it's up against Shrewsbury at home. A match we really should be getting a win in but Robertson puts in a very dodgy tackle here 
and he's already booked and he's been sent off for a second booking. Clark Robertson, it was a ridiculous challenge for me that I should have never gone into and the first highlight of the game ends in a red card for us and from the resulting free kick, Doyle pulls out a brilliant save and we're in trouble now, down to 10 men. Coming into the second half, 65th minute, Ivan Tony trying to dance his way past the Shrewsbury defender, gets into the box, plays out to Alex Gilby and we know the sort of form he's been in lately and I wouldn't put it past him if he would to put that in the bottom corner but unfortunately it stays nil nil last chance for the match here in the 90th minute terrible terrible game completely highlightless blackpool try and break through with el bazudi but they clear it away one last chance we go uh, into the box and no uh, the referee blows for full time another really disappointing match and as you can see by the stats here not much really happened in this match and another new feature into FIFA 16 is that you can sign free agents outside of the transfer window and we've tried to sign the third goalkeeper because as you can see here we had to play the centre midfielder McAllister in goal because Doyle was out on international duty for <laughs> for Ireland and also Leverant, our backup keeper, was out on international duty for Wales. So a freak freakish turn of events there. And very unluckily we only have two goalkeepers in the squad and both of them have been picked for international duty. The only two players in my side that are picked for international duty. But all the way into the eighty third minute here is when the second highlight in the game comes. Again such an awful ball draw. Seem to be getting a lot of these on legendary difficulty. Akola surely must score and heroics from the centre midfielder playing in goal. He didn't do much, it just scraped off his knee, but he did enough to make it go off for a corner. And brilliant goalkeeping from the centre midfielder that's heroically put a performance in goal today. But pushing on into the 90th minute here, Ivan Tony, can we grab a late winner? And Turn a poor game into a great game. Even Tony cutting into the box. It's a race. Really been a great opportunity. And a great save from the Shrewsbury keeper. And another disappointing result in this game. Another boring game. And that is three really poor results after three wins in the last episode. In this episode, we've had a 2-0 loss and 2 nil nil draws. And it's not like we've played the hardest teams either. We've played some pretty average and bottom teams we, that we should be getting the job done against. And I'm really disappointed in how this episode's gone. But we're still only, but we're still sitting fourth in the table in with a good chance of promotion. But I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of the Morphe for Gaming, and I'm out.